Alrighty, we are here at the restaurant. Wow, Flame, you went all out. <laughs> well, of course, I always go all out for two very special friends. By the way, where are Mickey and Minnie? They should be here soon. I don't know where they are. Hmm. I really don't know where they are, but they should be here soon. Oh, they're right here. Uh, Mickey, there you are. Hey, looking sharp. But wait a minute, where's Minnie? I'm right behind you. Huh? Oh, hey Minnie. Ah, <laughs> happy birthday, you two. Aw, shucks. Thanks, ba Thanks, pal. Oh, hey Sonic. It's good to see you again. Hey, Mickey, it's good to see you too. Happy birthday. Amy, it's really nice to see you. <laughs> Hi, Minnie. <laughs> well, guys, we all, well, guys, there's nothing like spending time with the two most iconic couples here. I mean, we got the top couple of Sega and the top couple of Disney <laughs> right here. What's next? Peach and Mario gonna come here? Oh yeah, I get it, because they're the top couple in Nintendo, right? Yeah, they are. Oh, well, I haven't seen Mario in a very long time. Well, who knows, well, who knows, who, well, who knows when he'll show up. In fact, I will be thinking about bringing him onto the channel again. Same thing with Peach and stuff, but, anywho, but anywho, let us take our seats and... Get to chillin', all right. So, Mickey, what have you been up to uh, ever since our video that we did earlier? Oh, well, I just been busy uh, getting ready. I didn't want to look too, um, you know, I didn't want to look too casual, so I just decided to go along with this. Oh, well, you look good, Mickey, I'm not gonna lie. And Minnie, I'm definitely liking that outfit. happy that, you know, I get to spend the rest of my life with Mickey. <laughs> and you know, guys, everybody has been asking this question. Why don't you guys get married? I mean, come on, you've been going out for 93 years. And the big, and everybody wants to know, Mickey, why won't you marry Minnie? Well, you see, pal, we sat back and we talked things over. We actually decided that we would just continue dating since, you know, we like that. Oh, well, okay, Mickey, I guess so. Oh, and, uh, Flame, where's Sarah? I thought she would be here. Uh, well, so, well, I'm sorry to tell you this, but Sarah, she wasn't feeling well, so I just decided to treat you guys. Aw, well, that's a shame. I do hope she feels better. You and me both, Minnie. Oh, um, Flame? Yeah, Amy? Well, I ran into somebody who you haven't seen in a very long time. She actually wanted to come by here, since I figured Sarah might have been, you know, sick or something, so I decided to ask her to come by here. Amy, you didn't ask Rouge to come by here, did you? Because I already took her out to dinner last night. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't bring Rouge. In fact, here's, in fact, I'll give you a hint. Go ahead and speak. Well, Flame, it's been a long time. How are you? Wait a minute. I know that voice. Hang on. I know that voice. Mina, what are you doing here? Well, Amy called me and said that Sarah was sick. And, you know, I just couldn't let you go to dinner by yourself, so, here I am. Aw, well, it's good to see you again. How's, how's things in the music business with the Shimmer Girls and everything? Oh, everything's just great. In fact, the Shimmer Girls, they're a big hit now that we have six members. Yeah, now that Rose is now a member of the Shimmer Girls, everything's all good now. <laughs> and when Flair gets older, you might have seven members. Maybe. And maybe if me and Sarah ever decide to have another kid, maybe we might have, maybe your group might have eight. Who knows? But anyway, thanks for filling in. No problem. Oh, and who is this? Oh, uh, 
Oh, uh, Mickey, Minnie, I would like you to meet my good friend, uh, and one of my exes, Mina the Mongoose. Exes? You have more exes? Uh, yeah, Minnie. Please don't think different of me. <laughs> of course I won't think different of you, Flame. Hey, your relationships in the past are in the past, right? Yeah, but sadly, sometimes they come back to haunt me. But that's a different story. Anywho, Mina the Mongoose, I would like you to meet two of my very good friends from Disney. Meet Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. No way. The Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse from Disney? The king and queen of Disney? Also, oh my gosh, I... I'm just really big. I'm just a really big fan. Oh, right back at you, Paul. Aw, oh, that's really nice to meet you too, Mina. <laughs> anywho, we're out here. Anywho, uh, didn't Amy tell you we're out here celebrating Mickey and Minnie's ninety-third birthday today? Oh well, happy birthday, you two. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, so anyway, let us order our drinks and then our food, okay? Uh, Mickey, what would you like? Um, I guess I'll have me a nice glass of wine. Okay, keeping it classy, nice. What about you, Minnie? I guess, I guess I'll have the same. <laughs> okay, uh, Amy, what about you? I'll have me the uh, pink wine. Ooh, another classy, another classy bit. Nice. What about you, Sonic? Give me a shot of bourbon. Whoa. Okay. That. Do you think? You, are you sure you can handle bourbon? It is pretty strong. I think I can handle it. Trust me. Okay. And as for me, I'll have me a glass of red wine as always. And Mina, what about? And Mina, what about you? Oh, Flame, you know what my favorite wine is the same wine we had when we dated. White wine. Aw, <laughs> okay. Okay, well, um, there you go. And as for food, what would everybody like? What would everybody like? Well, you know me. You know I can't part with my, chi with my um, chili dogs. Uh, dude, I don't think this place sells chili dogs. And sweet Mobius, it does. Wow. Okay, uh, so that's one chili dog. Uh, what about you, Mickey? What about you, Mickey? A hot dog for me. Okay. And Minnie, what about you? Let me guess. A hot dog as well? Hold the mustard. <laughs> okay. And uh, Amy. And Amy, what about you? I guess I'll have me the lobster. Ooh, lobster. Nice. Okay. And as for me, I guess I'll have me a nice uh, shrimp and prime rib. <laughs> okay. And Mina, what about you? And what about you? I'm guessing from the way you're dressed, you're going to be having Chinese. <laughs> oh boy, that was terrible. Okay. That was just terrible. Okay. But anyway, I'm serious. Uh, what would you like, Mina? Yes, I'll have me a bowl of ramen. I knew you were going to have Chinese food. I knew it. But it's okay. Okay. Well, anyway, our orders will be out there. All right. I just sent the notification to the waiter, and he should be here soon. All right. So, in the meantime, how about we just chit-chat for a little bit? So, Mickey, um... So, Mickey, what have you been up to? Um, well, well, um, right now, me, Minnie, and all of our friends, we're basically filming this new show, which we like to call Mickey Mouse Funhouse. Um, okay, so is it sort of like a uh, spin-off of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse? In a way, yes. Yeah, but instead of, you know, educating people and breaking the fourth wall, we're just having a whole bunch of fun in there. Oh, well, okay. That's actually pretty cool. Well, what about you, Flame? What have you been up to? Oh, boy. You do not know. 
the troubles that I have. Well, let's remember that I said that sometimes my past comes back to haunt me? Yes. Well, it did. All my exes, they're basically coming after me. Oh my. I'm really sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Plus, not to mention, it is stressing my wife out like crazy. Oh my goodness, but don't they know that you're married? Yeah, they do know that I'm married. It's just that they're trying every little, um, they're trying every little trick in their little black book to either, either try to persuade me to split up with my wife or try to make her sound like a bad person. And I know back in the day she did have anger issues, but she's all good now. Aw, oh, shucks. You're not the only one who had a woman with anger issues. Wait, Minnie, you had anger issues? Yeah, back in the day. Yeah, back in the day, but not anymore. Everything's okay now. Yeah, well, that's good. That's really good. I mean, I understand in the black and white uh, cartoons, you definitely did have some anger issues. You did have some anger issues, and then, not to mention, in the following cartoons, you did sort of, you know, fly off the handle sometimes. Yeah, well, don't worry. I'm okay now. <laughs> okay, well, that's good. Oh, and, uh, oh yeah, Minnie, did you see the, uh, video that me and Mickey did earlier? Yes! The Friday Night Funkin' thing of... Me, a suicide, me, suicidal Mickey dot avi. Yep, that's the one. I thought Mickey did a great job in that game. Yeah, but he also told me how much you don't like that version. Yeah, I really don't like that version. It's really creepy. Well, personally, I don't like how they put me in there. Well, portrayed me. I mean, I understand they put a uh, Sonic mod in there. Thank you, QT Cat. Um. But, here's the thing, it's good that they brought Sonic.exe into this, but why the world? Well, to be fair, they did post those things around Halloween time. Well, yeah, that is true, they did. Yeah, it was Halloween time when those mods were made. Hmm, well, honestly, I wonder if they're gonna do something with me. I don't know if they will, Amy, I don't know. I really don't know if they will, because you know you're not like part of the main character. You know, you're not a main character, you're just a love interest. Oh, oh come on, Flame, did you really have to say that? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but that's just how the company see her. I mean, if you want my opinion, I definitely think you should be a main character. I mean, you are a main character, but to some people you're... Just a love interest. I mean, Sonic and, I mean, Sonic and Mickey, those two are the main characters. I mean, it's like each of us have their own roles. Like, for example, Sonic, he's the, um, he's the main character. Same thing with Mickey. And you and Minnie are the, uh, love interests of the main character. As for me, I'm the relative of the main character. And as for Mina, she was also known as one of the main characters, and then everybody sort of forgot about her. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, I know. But it's okay. I mean, ev I mean, everybody's starting to remember her now, thanks to me, and lots of other people, too. And lots of other people, too. <sighs> I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. Mina, she has been through a whole lot in her past. She has been through a whole lot in her past. And what I mean is, is, uh, okay, see, well, this kind of involves Sonic as well. Right, because you see, when Mina was first starting out, she really, really liked me. She really, really liked me. In fact, she even joined our little group called the Freedom Fighters just to be close to me. And in those, and in those days, she increased her speed and everything. It was actually really cool. Yeah, and then, years later, then, years later, they decided that their, um, relationship wasn't working out, so they just broke up, and then Mina started going with me. Then Mina started going with me, 
And soon both of us broke up as well, all because of her manager. And this is the same person that broke, and this is the same person that broke, that, that, that broke Sonic and me, that broke Sonic and Mina up. And that would be Ash the Mongoose. Ash the Mongoose? Who's that? Well, Mickey, Ash the Mongoose is basically, uh, Mina's stage manager. And also her ex-boyfriend. Let's just say he was so disrespectful to both me and Sonic. He's very disrespectful, rude, inconsiderate, and he even broke Mina's heart a couple times. Oh my, are you okay, Mina? Yes, I'm okay, Minnie. Well, anyway, anyway, <laughs> to get our revenge, me and Sonic, we're gonna roast him. Whew, well, basically, um, wait a minute. What do you mean by roast? You mean cook him? No, Mickey, that would be cannibalism, and we're not cannibals. Anyway, anyway, uh, no, we're not gonna cook him. Anyway, no, we're not gonna cook him. Anywho, uh, what do we, by roasting him, we mean that we're gonna be, you know, making fun of him, calling him names and stuff, and just doing all that stuff. You know, hurt his feelings. Oh, well, if you want my opinion, all you need to do is just talk things over with him. He literally talks smack about us. He literally talks smack about us, his wife, our wives and everything, and yeah. Flame, roast him. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, Mickey. I definitely will. And Sonic, you will definitely be helping me, right? Yep, absolutely. Well, we'll go into more detail later on. We'll tell, yeah, flamethrowers. We're gonna be telling you guys um, a little bit later on about the details of what's gonna happen. <laughs> Cause tomorrow, Ash the Hedge, Ash the Mongoose, you better watch out. Anywho, but there is another universal version of Mina the Mongoose where she actually got together with Sonic's little buddy Tails. And they even had two kids together, which was actually pretty insane. Well, if you ask me, Tails... Well, if you ask me, Tails is a really nice guy and all, but... That's his time, but that's another alternate version of me. Um, but for me, I only see Tails as a good friend. <laughs> okay, well, anywho... Anywho, um, as for us, we, our new game just came out this year, which is... Sonic Colors Ultimate, which is Sonic Colors Ultimate, which is actually really great. <laughs> oh boy, I, we absolutely love that game. Whew. Well, it's about time you guys came out, came out with a new game. Yeah, I know, I know. It's been a long time since we came out with a new game. By the way, hey, Mickey, I've been meaning to ask you. Um, whatever happened to your brother, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit? Whatever happened to him? Oh, well, he didn't want to come. Oh, oh, so he's around. I thought he was still inside the world of Forgotten Tunes. Well, that world isn't forgotten anymore. Oh, well, what did you do? Let's just say I pulled a few strings and the world of Forgotten Tunes is now... You know, not forgotten anymore. Well, that's good. That's good. And so now you, Oswald, can just hang out as brothers, right? Yep, absolutely. But still, pe but still people are still thinking that it's a little bit weird that a mouse and a rabbit are brothers. Yeah, that's actually pretty insane. I know. But <laughs> if you think about it, in a way, uh... Hortensia and Amy, they're somewhat sisters. What? No, 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 no. There's no way that we would be... F There's no way. No way. Well, if you think about it... If you think about it, if you take away the cat features and add some of the mouse features, then maybe you might be sisters. Who knows? But anyway, it is pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, it is, anyway, 
<sighs> Mickey, Minnie, I am really happy that you guys are still together after 93 years. 93 years. I mean, wow, that's just amazing. I mean, 93 years you guys been together and you're still looking great for your age. Oh, well, it's like, well, basically, you and I, we're sort of the same. Our number goes up, but we don't look older. Yeah, I know. Because, hey, if we did, because if that did happen, I don't think anybody would want to see us. I mean, who would want to see a wrinkly old dragon hog or a wrinkly old mouse? Yes, well, anyway. Anyway, I do appreciate what you did for us, Flame. I mean, this nice dinner, good company, and everything. Aw, well, it's the least I can do for my friends. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> Mickey, I even have a present for you. A present? For me? Yep, and it's also for Minnie as well. Aw, well thank you. <laughs> well, actually, technically it's not for me. It's from your other friend, Bendy. Bendy? Oh, well, I don't know whatever ha I don't know where he is. <laughs> well... I heard that Bendy uh, actually pitched in and got you this great big gift. Hmm, it's actually really cool. Okay, let's see. And the card reads, To Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse for 93 years in the making. You're very, you're very sweet and nice. Keep up all the hard work you guys are doing and holding the Disney franchise together. Signed, Bendy the Ink Demon and Alice Angel. P.S. Does Goofy and Boris look the same? Well, actually, I guess they do kind of look the same. I mean, if you look at them. If you look at them, Goofy and Boris do kind of look the same, in a way. But anyway, go ahead and open it up, Mickey. Okay, let's see what this is. Hot dog! It's a hot dog! What the heck? Wow, Bendy actually gave you a hot dog. Wow. Oh, wait, there's also a note here. It says, this is my best-selling hot dog. I call it the Demon Dog. It's really tasty in the afterlife and in heaven. So let's see how well it tastes good on Earth. And the best person who knows best about hot dogs is you. So happy birthday, Mouse Boy. Signed, Bendy the Ink Demon. Oh, and there's also a little something for, Mi for Minnie in the box as well. It's her very own Alice Angel outfit. <laughs> Have fun with it, Mickey. Wow, so Minnie's gonna be dressing up like Alice Angel? That's something. Um, I never exactly understood Alice's outfit, so basically it's a, uh... Dress? So basically it's a dress, heels, wings, a fake mole, black lipstick, and a halo? Looks like it. Looks like it. But I do have to admit, you do you would look cute in that. Hey, back off, buddy. Aw, oh, come on, Mickey. You know I'm just messing with her. Plus, not to mention, you know I would never steal another dude's girl. I guess so. I mean, you're not Mortimer. Oh yeah, I remember Mortimer. How is he doing anyway? Huh, he's in jail still. Oh wow, okay. I'm confused, who the heck is Mortimer? Well, well bro, if you remember correctly, and you probably don't remember, well, Mortimer Mouse, he is, he used to be, uh, Minnie's boyfriend, until they broke up. And then she started going out with Mickey. And then he started, then she actually fell in love with Mickey and then they went out for years. And then several years later, Mortimer came back rich and filled with money. But he, but he had everything. But there was only one thing that he didn't have that would have made his life perfect. And that would have been the perfect girl. And of course, he had the perfect girl until it was too late. And, but in his case, it's never too late. That's right. And for years, he's always been trying to steal Minnie away from me. 
Heck, even one time, he even framed me and locked me up in jail and threatened to, to take my place at his, at our date. Yeah, I remember that. And then, not to mention what happened in the House of Mouse. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. Well, basically what Mortimer did was he basically tried to trick me into thinking that I was looking for a nice, sophisticated girl. And I wasn't. Yeah, he did the same thing to me, too. Because there was a newspaper article signed M.M. Yes, and he, tr and he actually convinced both of us that we actually signed them. Signed it M.M. And at the end of the day, it was really Mortimer. Because you see, it was Mickey's... Because you see, it was Mortimer's plan to think that Minnie... That, you know... Mickey was too good for Minnie, so Mortimer would step in and save the day, which is just horrible. Ugh. Ugh, which is just horrible. I really don't like Mortimer Mouse. I mean, he's always trying to steal Minnie away from you. Huh, that's not the first villain that always tried to steal Minnie away from me. Don't forget about Pegleg Pete, or Pete. Yeah, Pete the Cat. I'll never forget about him. Wow. I mean, I mean, who would have thought after all these years from stealing, from trying to steal Minnie, from bullying you, you two actually became friends? Yeah, I still can't believe that. But, but, it's like I always say, water under the bridge. Well, yeah, that's cool, Mickey. Oh, look, here come our food. Uh, we got, a uh, we got one, we got one hot dog for Mickey Mouse, the birthday boy, and one hot dog, and we got one hot dog, hold the, man, hold the mustard for Miss Minnie. Thank you. We also have the lobster for Miss Amy. We also have one chili dog for Sonic, and we also have one bowl of ramen for Miss Mina the Mongoose. And as for you, Flame, here is your prime rib and shrimp. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Anywho, anywho, guys, let us dig in. Ah, oh, boy. You no, know, Flame, this place does seem familiar. Um, basically, uh, you're right, Mickey. This place does look familiar. Um, okay, okay. I'll reveal the location of this place. This is the Universal... This is the Universal... Uh, this is the Multiverse Restaurant. It's real... It's known throughout the Multiverse. It sits smack dab in the center of the Multiverse. It sits smack dab in the center of the Multiverse. Where, so that way, you guys can meet all sorts of different characters here. Like, for example, over there, there's a... Wait, is that my old friend Mai Shirinuri from, uh, King of Fighters? Wow. <laughs> it looks like she's out here having a coffee break. Wow, okay. Well, I'm glad that she's doing good. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen her in a long while. Wait, you know Mai? Absolutely. Oh, well, that's cool. That's cool. But anyway, to Mickey, anyway, I like to propose a toast to Mickey and Minnie. 93 years in the making. And let's hope that we can make it to 94. You're here. And I also like to say congratulations to their new show, Mickey Mouse Funhouse. Hmm. And plus, moving on from just the children's icon to children, to children and children at heart everywhere. Just, you guys, just continue putting the smiles on people's faces. Here, here. I also like to say, Mickey, you continue the, you continue this lifelong legacy until the day all of us kick the bucket. Here, here. And even though I just met and even though I just met you guys, I know that you guys will live on forever. Yep, <laughs> no doubt about it. 
Also, I like to say something. I also like to say something. Go ahead, Minnie. Well, <sighs> Mickey is mainly the person celebrating his birthday. And, of course, I too am sharing my birthday here. But, I feel like, Mickey, you and I, we've been together for 90, for 93 years. And I know that we've been saying that we were going to just continue dating, but I don't want that anymore. Mickey Mouse, I think it's time that we finally give the fans what they want. Minnie, are you suggesting? Yes, Mickey. I think it's time we got married. I was hoping you'd say that, which is why, on the way here, while you weren't looking, I slipped away to get this. Mickey, is that? Yes. It's the ring you always wanted. And so, I stand before you. I stand before you in front of everybody here. Minnie Mouse, will you make me the happiest mouse in all of the multiverse and marry me? Mickey Mouse, you do not know how long I have been waiting to hear those words. And the answer is, yes, Mickey. I will marry you. <laughs> well, that's great. Congratulations, you guys. Not only did you guys celebrate your birthday, but I guess this is an engagement party. Well, <laughs> might as well squeeze both of them in. Oh, no, 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 no. This engagement party will take place back in our world. We definitely gotta tell Donald, Daisy, and Goofy, not to mention Pluto. Oh, boy. <laughs> After seeing you guys get married, I guarantee you Daisy's gonna try and rope Donald into getting married. Yeah, they have going to, they have been going together for years as well. Also, there is a, something else I really want to tell you, Flame. Oh really? What's that, Mickey? You and I, we've been together. We have been friends for many, many years. You know me as King Mickey of Kingdom Hearts, right? Yes. And I do have a very, very special gift to give you. And that would be my Keyblade. Your Keyblade? Your Keyblade? Mickey, I can't accept this. I can't accept this. What are you gonna do without your Keyblade? Oh, it's okay. I still have many more in my arsenal, but since this was my very first Keyblade, I decided that you should keep it. Mickey, I don't know what to say. Say that you'll take it. You know what? Yes, I will accept this Keyblade. And also, there's one other thing. There are many different charms that go along with this Keyblade, and as you know, when you hook on a charm, it changes your Keyblade and gives it new abilities. Yep, that's right. So, I would like you to come to the Kingdom Hearts universe and train alongside me, so that way you can earn those charms. It would be a great honor, Your Majesty. That's my king. <laughs> well... Mickey, Minnie, this is one birthday I'm never- this is one birthday I bet you guys won't forget. This is one birthday I know I won't forget because soon I will be Miss Mickey Mouse. <laughs> and you know, I'll even record your wedding if you want me to. No, that won't be necessary, but we will be- but after the wedding, we will be coming by here. Oh, cool. <laughs> Well, just let us know when the wedding is. Absolutely. And also, Amy, Sonic, you guys are also invited. All right. Cool. Well, this has been fun. Well, me and Minnie, we do have to go and spread the good news. Ah. <laughs> well, all right. Well, Mickey, Minnie, you guys head back to your universe and have fun. 
and you guys have fun celebrating the rest of your birthday. Oh, trust me, we will. <laughs> Not to mention Daisy, she will go, f she will go bonkers after seeing this rock. Ah, <laughs> well, bye, Mickey. Bye, Minnie. See you later. Bye. Chaos control. Uh, bro, when in the world did you teach Mickey chaos control? Uh, I guess that's a story for another time. But anyway, but anyway, Amy, Sonic, I guess it's about time we head out too. Yeah, absolutely. It's about time for me to, uh, you know, <sighs> head to bed. I am really sleepy. Yeah, me too. Well, we'll be going. Okay, I guess I'll pay the check. After all, I did buy everything. Oh, and, uh, Mina, I do like to thank you for, you know, coming by here and taking Sarah's place. Absolutely. Oh, and, uh, feel free, oh yeah, if you need any help explaining to Sarah why I took her place, um, I'll be more than happy to come with you. No, no, it's a fine, it's fine. I'm pretty sure she'll understand. I mean, she is not feeling well. I mean, I told her to take a few headache pills and stuff, so she should be okay. But anyway, I do like to thank you a whole lot, Mina, for coming to help me. So, uh, Mina, how do you feel about me and Sonic, you know, roasting your ex? Oh boy, I couldn't be more happier. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about you and I... Ooh, you really think that would work? Absolutely. Well, anyway, come on, Mina. I better take you home. Uh, uh, uh. Are you really picking me up like you used to? Hey. Hey, I mean, this is how I always carry women around. Oh, well, in that case, lead on, Mr. Dragonhog. You might, it would be my pleasure, Miss Mongoose. Well, flamethrowers, this has been one great birthday party for Mickey and Minnie, and hopefully you guys will get to see their wedding. So, anyway, this is Flame the Dragon Hog and Mina the Mongoose signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers. Goodbye, my rebel rockers.